What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Ben and I've been using iOS 14 on my iPhone 6s here for about three weeks. And during those three weeks, I've actually experienced a lot. My phone had days whereby it works normal and it has had days whereby it's like experiencing seizures and freezes and all that almost to the point where it's unfunctional. So for the purpose of this video, and this is just an experiment that I'm doing on iOS 14 and my iPhone 6s, I decided to reset all contents and settings on this device. So if you look at my home screen here, you notice that, you know, most of the things aren't installed, like the applications, they are offloaded and yeah, I'm running iOS 14. So I reset this device on iOS 14. And as you can see, it came back with iOS 14 but there's a few things that I noticed after resetting this device and I just want to discuss those things with you and the first thing that I noticed um, that is a bit off with this device on iOS 14 is this page here so you can see that you know this page has applications and yeah this is okay and as you can see we have about one two three four five pages or tabs that have different apps and I noticed that if we scroll to the next page you can see that this one has apps and then here this one came with two widgets and then if we go to the next page you can see that we have this empty page and it has nothing but it's there by default if a page has nothing no contents or widgets or application it's supposed to be deleted but as you can see this one is here and it has nothing there and then the next page too is the same thing right so we have about two pages here we have the fifth and fourth page with nothing and after resetting this device this is how it came back as and of course the last page is going to be about the app library where it sort of arranges the applications according to their use and function so that is working but yeah it's a bit off that you know we have two tabs that have nothing so I tried to experiment and I noticed if I like sort of long press here you can see that we have a hidden widget there and although I can't tell what the widget is about you can see that you know if I long press or long touch here you can see that I have uh, about two widgets here right so and here you can see that I have another widget but it's not showing so this is a bug that I noticed after resetting this iPhone 6s on iOS 14 so there's also another widget there that I can see and we have about two widgets here so I can easily delete these widgets by removing here and it says remove now when you want to delete the widget so now is like some sort of error or some sort of uh, function that wasn't performed successfully so let me just remove that and as you can see the page should disappear after this and as you can see we now have four tabs and yeah so this other one has two invisible widgets i don't know what type of widgets they are and i have the option to delete them but i can't be able to view them Another thing that I noticed after resetting this device on iOS 14 is the amount of widgets that it comes with. It just comes with two widgets here as you can see on the search panel. And if you want to add widgets, what you just do is just long press there and then say edit home screen. So if you click that, you have a plus item there in the top corner. And if you click that, you can see that you now have the ability to add different widgets. You can add stacked, you can add ones that have to do with a specific application or function like the battery photos or Siri. So if we add a stacked app, this is an example of a stacked widget. So if we click that and then add widget, you can see that it adds itself there. And then if we add again, another widget, let's say the battery one, and then here you have the option to add between small, medium or large widgets. So I'll just add the medium one cause it looks kind of okay. And then we just click add widget. And then if we want to add something, let's say for example, series suggestion we just click the plus item and then add widget and yeah as you can see we now have quite a number of widgets and yeah as you can see not many applications show up here with different widgets we have about one two three four five about five apps with uh, different widgets so hopefully with time more applications are supported and backtap also isn't available on this iphone 6s running ios 14 i'm a bit disappointed on that because i like the backtap feature where you can basically just back tap your device and it performs a specific function and yeah so that's how the widgets come on and if I want to add it to the home screen I just say um, edit widget and then I can easily like long press here 
and then drag it to whichever page I want to take it to and I can position it uh, in a position that I want depending on the size that I want of course and yeah that's basically how these widgets came after resetting this device on iOS 14. So I did run Geekbench scores on this iPhone 6s and let's see the scores that I got here if we go on the history that I um, have here on the CPU section you can see that you know this is today July 5 and it's around 4 p.m and the score that I have on my iPhone 6s running iOS 14 for single core is 556 and then for multi-core is 1029 and then if we go back and go back to the uh, GPU performance or the compute performance this is the performance that is responsible for 3D image rendering and graphics rendering and you can see the score that I have here is 2503 so that is kind of okay you know it's not too bad considering this is the first beta of iOS 14 that I'm running on this iPhone 6s I'm kind of okay with the you know the performance numbers that I, I'm getting here it's just that from time to time it's a bit unstable so so far from the moment I factory reset this iPhone 6s I haven't had any major issues or crashes when it comes to different applications or widgets or even a screen experiencing some sort of seizure or non-function so so far it's been okay and yeah that's just something small that I thought I should share with you when it comes to iOS 14 how your device comes back when you reset it with iOS 14 to the factory setting um, of course it's a good thing that you know applications like translate come with the device and with the update although they are offloaded and you have to download them it basically takes like two seconds to download and that's something small that I thought I should share if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and I will catch you in the next upload peace